Yeah. Jim, we'll come on to the controversial bits in a minute, but um, overall, how would you sum up the game and, and, and Saints' performance overall tonight? Um, we came to, against a quality Racing side who played really well, I think, right from, from the, the, the kick-off. Um, they put us under pressure, they scored two very good tries. And we came back into the game then just before half-time, um, could have easily scored up on that left-hand side, Victor Matfield, you know, we had numbers and it was unfortunate to give away that interception, so suddenly 14-3, could have possibly been 14-10 uh, and you're looking at 21-3. Uh, we then clearly came back again and, and could have scored just before, before half-time, Luther said he grounded the ball. But, um, the referee went upstairs to the TMO and uh, apparently didn't get in touch with the TMO, couldn't speak to him, couldn't see the right angles to disallow the trial. Um, without wishing to sound too controversial, in American football, the NFL have uh, officials at Wembley who can talk to people in New York and yet here in Paris he's 20 metres away from the truck and can't speak to the TMO. It must be very frustrating. It is really frustrating isn't it? and we're fortunate I think in England we don't get that. I think uh, our English broadcasters are very, very good. The communication is always good when you ask for the right views, they, they get that. We've had problems over here last year, um, the, the, I think the French officials are, are, or the broadcasters are, are different um, and, and, it, and it's wrong because when you come to a place like this you need all the help you possibly can get. 50-50s, a couple of, uh, you know, Stephen Myler got a try disallowed for a forward pass, I'd have liked to have a look at that and I'd also like to have a look at Tom Stevenson, the tackle on him towards the end of the game. The, uh, do you think ultimately in, in some of those situations as well that the missing the likes of Tom Wood and Dylan Hartley and, and people like that ultimately paid, you know, made a, made a bit of a difference in terms of their international know-how? Um, it always helps to have international players playing in big games like that. Uh, we're against a side who have followed them. They take one player off who's an international and bring another one on. But um, that's the way it is. I think uh, the positive for us is some of those younger players, I think, played really, really well. And Tom Stevenson but, you know, came into the side and was outstanding. JJ Hanran had an, uh, another game, a fine game. Timana Harrison was everywhere, really, really working to the very end. So uh, it, it's disappointing not to have the big players, but um, you know, hopefully good experience. Experience, good learning experience for some of those younger players. Well, what do they uh, do they take out of that in terms of the, the, the turnaround as well with, with Racing coming up on Friday night and, and having to put everything into practice quickly? We've said this season's going to be tough. We said every single week it's going to be a very hard game. We've come out here. Clearly, it's very, very difficult place to play, and uh, it's been a tough night for us. But we've shown in the past that we're a resilient side. We uh, we can come back um, from defeat, and what's, that's what we need to do. Um, Racing are good. You know, they, they, they went down to Wales and got a bonus point o over there, so we know they can play play away from home as well. But uh, we'll prepare properly, and we'll really look forward, and hopefully we can. Turn them over. The, uh, some of the set piece work and, and, and some of the attacking work, particularly at the end of the first half and at points in the second half, you know, really caught the eye as well from the Saints today. Yeah, I think some of our attacking play was really good and uh, we kept the hold of the ball for, for pretty long periods. I think maybe sometimes we're just, a, if I was being critical, we're just probably a little bit lateral at times. Um, You've got to really work hard to get numbers to the breakdown area because Racing are very, very quick at getting over the ball and slowing it down. So there's certain bits of, uh, that we can work on, but there's some real positives to be taken from as well. I know that Fabrice going to write about the, the bit just before half time, but the first two tries must have been disappointed to concede. Uh, any try that you concede is uh, disappointing, and um, you know we've got a very good defensive record this year. We've been defending very, very well. Um, so it, that's what happens when you're under pressure you know, against a very quality side. You make big tackles, but uh, in time you do concede. And uh, we've just got to be a bit more physical, particularly around the breakdown, stop them making yards. And uh, if we can do that next week, it'll help us.